Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about the LEC League of Legends slate. Uh, it's a five-game slate. Um, it's a. It looks like LEC is going to have a lot of slates on Mondays now. I guess. Um, so that's kind of fun. Um, you know, Monday afternoon we're kind of slow on, in terms of DFS options that we have. So, I think it's great. Um, we have. Five games. It's a best of one, as you guys know. Um, we have a lot of good matches here today. We have XL versus Astralis, uh, BDS against Mad Lions, and SK versus KOI, and then G2 versus Vitality, which is the marquee matchup of the day, and then Fanatics versus Team Heretics. So I just want to kind of go over the rosters and the matchups, and I We'll come up with my predictions, which I think most people are interested in, um, and then kind of go from there and then maybe measure the kill upside to kind of complete the video, okay? So XL versus Astralis. Excel uh, had a lot of, um, how do we call it, hope? Um, coming in, the like high expectations coming into the season. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't worked out. Um, I think Excel is now at, one and four right so they signed some like high marquee superstars in my opinion like in Vitheo in the mid lane and then they have Xerxes in the jungle and then Patrick in the bottom lane who just has not been that great um so uh, but Astralis on the other side of the matchup is not probably one of the worst teams maybe the worst team right now in the LEC but just given how volatile XL has been, I think this is more of a coin flip. I think Astralis definitely has what it takes to upset XL, just given how volatile XL has looked. Um, but at the end of the day, I think XL, this is the this is the get it right uh, spot for XL. Um, I think the matchup in the mid lane and the matchup at jungle is going to be too much. I think Astralis actually had one of the lowest jungle control percentage. Um, I'll kind of pull that up right now, but obviously that, you know, kind of lends into my game prediction in this, uh, in this game where I think um, XL wins this matchup um, and Astralis loses it. So you, you see the jungle control percentage, you see Astralis at 42.5. That is really bad. So I just feel like XL, even though XL is second, <laughs> second to the lowest. So so like I said, I mean, I think it's more of a coin flip than people think and as the uh, compared to the odds um, that are out there. But I just think Astralis is so bad. Um, so I think as long as Excel does better job in the early game phase, which I think they will because, I mean, their players are more skilled and talented as long as they don't make big, big mistakes. Um, I think uh, Excel should take care of this, take care of business. Um, in terms of kill upside... Excel should win, but both teams have been shit. I think the early game advantage for Excel due to skill difference will lend Excel a victory. Kill upsets. So the total kills over under was at set at 27. So which is pretty high. It's actually the Second highest, um, third highest on the on the slate. Um, but let's look at the actual combined kills per minute metric. Excel is here, point no point eight zero, and then Astralis is up here, point eight nine. So point eight five ish. Excel is gonna win probably. So yeah, I'd say medium to high upside. All right, the next matchup of the day is BDS versus Mad. Um, BDS surprisingly has been pretty good. Um, I think they kind of benefited from the fact that uh, benefited from the most recent matchups against some volatile teams, in my opinion. But um, well, and Mad actually has been pretty solid, in my opinion. I think they had some lower expectations coming in compared to other top teams in the league, but. Matt actually has been pretty good. And I think it was due to the fact that El Yoya at jungle is a superstar in my opinion. And he really, you know, is the engine of this team and he plays really, he's been playing really well. Um, now, is he going to play well against BDS? I don't know. I mean, BDS is also has a, also a higher side jungle control percentage here, 55.1. And I want to see a few things. First to three towers. Matt has the advantage there. 
early game, Matt has an advantage. Mid to late game, early game, uh, Matt has an advantage. So like a lot of things point are pointing in the Matt direction, but BDS actually, like I said, has been playing pretty well. So I'm going to go mad. Mad wins. Um, El Yoya. Shio actually has been not that bad. On a different level, overall better early game for Mad. Um, as long as Mad doesn't like make some bad mistakes, and they've done that before, like in the last season especially. But I think with the with the addition of um chassis in the top lane, I think they'll be okay. I think they actually has have looked really good at the top half side of the side of the map. Um, I think that's gonna be the difference because. BDS actually surprisingly Adam was really good uh, on Olaf. I think he played the champion uh, last game, and he like wreaked, wreaked havoc in the top side of the map. Um, I think Chassis will do just fine. Um, I do want to see one thing. See how Adam Chassis compares. Uh, or BDS is drama. No, BDS and then Mad. Let's see. So Chassis has actually been more involved. Goal difference. Adam has the lead. Same for XP. Yeah, I think Adam is a little better still, but um, I think Chassis can hold his own. So I think Matt, I, I'm actually pretty confident that Matt should win here. Um, I think I'm actually more confident that Mad wins here compared to uh, Excel up there that I just talked about. So I think Matt, I like Matt a lot here today. Um, even though the kill upside, I think is the lowest compared, uh, according to the, according to uh, the Vegas odds. So let's actually look at the kill combined kill ups, uh, combined kill per minute. BDS is low 0.65. Wow. And then that's probably why Matt is 0 0.70. Yeah, that's probably why the Vegas odds were set at low. So medium to low upside. I actually think the fact that BDS feels like they've been playing well um, will lend itself at some point in some high like kill ups. I think they're going to challenge a lot in team fights and stuff like that against Mad Lions. So that can turn into actually a higher kill upside. This is a psychological thing that when a bad team is on a hot streak like this, they think they can overtake the top teams and like the in, in team fights. And I've seen that a lot in the LEC before. Um, so this could turn into a over. I think I would, if I were a straight up better, I would jam on over 24 uh, overall. Uh, so that's probably how I'm gonna go. And then KOI versus SK, I mean, <laughs> it's just mediocre teams. Uh, I want to see something here. KOI SK about the same. SK is actually better metric wise. I want to see. Malrang, Marcoon. Yeah, I mean, I think that's interesting. That's like more of a toss up. But um, at the end of the day, I think the metrics are pointing that SK is going to win and is KY favored. Yeah. I think it's a toss up, though, right? So let's see some things real quick. KY has advantages there and goal difference. Difference. I really think it's a toss up. <laughs> 
<laughs> um yeah, this is a tough one, I think. Um let's see. I wanna see something real quick that I jotted down. Um I think KOI should win here. Oh, sorry. I don't know why. What happened there? Um, this is a tough one. So I would play both sides. Uh, kill upside is okay. Maybe fade this matchup completely because I, I just don't have a good lean on it. I think a lot of metrics are pointing SK wins. So I'm just going to say SK wins, but not very confident. I think a toss up. Uh, better advantages for KOI in the uh, bottom lane, but overall, SK has better metrics. So that's probably how I'm going to treat it. Maybe fade. Okay. And then G2 versus Vitality, like I said, is the marquee matchup of the day. Um, I think that's going to be a very, very interesting matchup. I think G2 is going to bounce back. Um, I think they've shown better, in, in my opinion, uh, better gameplay and macro gameplay. I think Vitality was it's it, well they they were they've won games more through individual plays with perks and uh, bow in the jungle position. So I just think G two has shown me better team play, and I think that's a very important aspect in a marquee elite two teams going against each other. So I'm gonna say G two wins. Uh, pretty confident. Um, actually, I think a lot of people are on the vitality train, but like I said, I think it was more of an individualistic win, uh, compared to team win. And I think going against like superior, not superior, but just as equally, uh, elite. laners laning players um i think the better team tends to win uh most of the times so i think i'm gonna say g2 wins pretty confident um i like g2's team fights and synergy more than vitality's tendency to play through individual laners So I like that a lot more. Um, so I like G2 pretty pretty confident, like I said. Kill upside. Well, I saw I was talking about the kill upside here. It's medium to low here for that matchup. And the G2 vitality, I think it's gonna be high, medium to high. Um, just given the fact that both teams like to skirmish, uh, they like they think they can win any team fights really um that they participate in. Um, Vitality and G2UC. I mean, the CKPM metrics support that as well. All right, last one is Fnatic versus Team Heretics. Both teams very, very disappointing. Um, Fnatic, I had I had a little bit of higher expectations coming in, but just with the roster changes and recalls, I, I just feel like they're just not the same team, you know? And Team Heretics uh, with Evi in the top lane from Japan, from the LJL coming over. Uh, they've been very disappointing. He can His play, player pool is kind of limited. And Ankos in the jungle was not great. And Ruby is having some uh, communication issues, I've heard. Uh, and then the bottom lane just was a disaster last game I watched. Um, so who's going to win? And I think Fnatic should win just based on the paper, you know, just looking at the... The rosters, but let's look at the match. Met, uh, let's look at the metrics. Uh, Fnatic versus Team Heretics. Um, slight advantage to Fnatics, and then slight advantage here. The Heretics here. I mean, it's a very very close matchup here, right? So, given that, I want to see. Something else. The two most important positions, in my opinion. I just want to see how well they've performed uh, throughout the uh, weeks so far in the season. Yankos versus Resort. Uh, Yankos has better advantage there. Uh, um... Kill participation resort has been better. Been carrying a little bit more than Yankos, but that's Yankos's natural tendency. 
damage percentage, earn gold per, gold per minute. Um, yeah, that's an interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think it's interesting. Uh, team heretics, and then what is it? Oh, let's see. Where are you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a toss up, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I think it's a toss up. I'm mean, if I have to guess, I'm gonna say fanatic, um, but not confident at all. <laughs> Metrics are almost identical to each other, and do I believe in more in the let's see, Reckles Jack Spectra Resort? That's a tough one. No, I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go with TH wins. Uh, like I said, I'm flip flopping, but I just feel like um, I believe in Yankos. Actually, no, I don't know. Like, do I believe in Jack Spectra to carry it late game? No, fuck it. All right, fanatics. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's probably how I'm gonna go. I think the kill upside is pretty good, actually. Any fanatic game has been uh interesting. Um, not as high this year, but um, here you see Fnatic 0.83 team heretics up there, so they like to skirmish. So, uh, I'm gonna say medium to high as well. Um, but anyway, I know this video was a little all over the place, but that kind of tells you that like how much of a toss uh, toss up games there are here in the LEC. I think the 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 field playing field in the LEC has been. More even than ever, except for maybe G2 and then Vitality and stuff, Mad Alliance maybe. But I just feel like a lot of the games, a lot of the teams are kind of very close to each other. They haven't separated themselves, um, so to speak, early in the season. Um, it's really rare that we have a playing field even as even as this one uh, in the LEC, but it is what it is. So that makes it for a very interesting GPP slate, I think, for DFS purposes. But otherwise, hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Please uh, hit the thumbs up, thumbs up button and then subscribe to our channel if you can. And hope you guys win some money. Thanks. Have a good one.